Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Wavy Boy CJ slash Corn Man. Today, 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 we are gonna be reacting to I tried every legal addiction. Make sure y'all like the vid, comment on the vid, subscribe to the channel, man. Roll to 3K subscribers. I've been posting every single day, man. So I'm trying to keep this consistency on these reactions. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit of context about me. I've never been addicted to anything. I've never been addicted to no type of drug, anything like that. I've never tried no drug, nothing. 20 years old, never even got drunk before, never got high before, you feel me? So, I'm going to see what, I don't even know what every single legal addiction is. So, let's get ready to the vid, man. Let's do it. In Catholic school, we were taught your body is a temple. I disagree. My body is a garbage disposal made to inhale vapes with Spotify installed on them, pop packets of microplastic lace nicotine, and chug foot-long tequila Baja Blast phrases from Taco Bell. Uh, today I'm consuming four addictive things that are per- Wait, what is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did it say? Baja Blast phrases from Taco Bell. Uh, today I'm consuming four addictive- Alcohol, gambling, nicotine, and caffeine. Okay. I've never been addicted to any of these. Addictive things that are perfectly legal. Let's see if I'll get addicted. Why would I willingly do this to myself, you ask? Well, I've actually been addicted to doing these in the past. And I want to test if I... Gambling I'm age 16? You allowed to gamble at 16? Vaping age 18? What the freak? Stronger now. Starting with nicotine, of course. I know there's lots of different places to buy these. I went to a random smoke shop near me and I was asking for the vape with the touch screen on it. And the clerk led me into the back area where he pulled up this box that was like a shipment from like, like China. And it was a secret box full of geek bars, special. What the freak? For me. What flavor you want? Oh. Uh, yes. Ah, Raz. You want geek bar or Raz? Frozen strawberry? I was trying to blend in as someone who knows vapes. about vapes, so I said. <laughs> oh, they all sound delicious. <laughs> I'm dead. California cherry. <laughs> California cherry one. Some boy got me the fucking exclusive California cherry geek bar. That's just really on a shelf. So, with my new nicotine supply, I'm going to set a timer, and every hour of the day, I have to take a ginormous hit or pop us in, and after a few days. I will be dead. <laughs> Disclaimer, man. I want to just throw this out here. Don't vape. Don't do not do this. This stuff is bad for you. Really bad. Especially the vaping and the alcohol. Bad. Don't, don't do that. Day one. It's day one, and what are we having for breakfast? <laughs> My California Cherry Geek Bar. <laughs> this is so new to me. This is so different than a jewel. I'm kind of scared of this because I just saw a video of the factories where they make these, and they have like a dude whose job it is to like hit every single vape and make sure it works. What so, like, freak? are we gonna like indirectly kiss here? It says, May the pulse be with you. <gasps> is this a touch screen? All right, taste test. <laughs> no way. It fucking burned my throat so bad. Oh god. I don't feel anything other than like a burnt throat. So now we set a timer for an hour, and every hour we. I don't think you'll get addicted to this. No way. This is like the one nicotine product that I'm really scared of because this is the only one that like doesn't physically hurt. Oh, it's just like a child what lock on it. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Like that's it. They smell minty mixed with like row 46 of a spirit flight. So apparently you just take it and you put it in your gums. Uh, are people really walking around just like talking like this? Like, like with a little, a little fucking microplastic in their mouth? Like they're so stupid. You're not supposed to swallow the spit, apparently, too. Otherwise, you're gonna talk again. Uh, okay, something's happening. I have, oh, ow. 
I don't know. I think it's placebo, but I feel like a little bit of a tingle. Ow! It like literally burns. Horrible fucking feeling. Like white where I put it, it's like burning. Ow! Mm. I started to feel the effects when I was in the car, and my head felt like a watermelon with 400 elastic bands on it, and my hands were shaking. Timer. But the huffing and puffing did not stop. <laughs> Does Bobby want his in? Uh, out. I'd about the five. Can somebody tell me what his in is in the uh, comments, please? A minute mark. The burning was so painful. I, I could really find don't places, know. Spit it out, but the garbage cans near me were bolted <laughs> shut. So the garbage cans cheers, are locked. I ran to another garbage can and spat it out. Hot to a, hot to a, hot to a. Ew. This burning is apparently called single. Thin tingle. It literally feels like Satan put his big old fucking in, in my mouth and took a boiling piss at my gob. I wouldn't say I'm starting to need these, but I do want them all the time. Oh no! Um, <laughs> no way. <coughs> Ew. I must just swallow this in. This is done. We're done. <laughs> We're fucking done. Overall effects. It's a weird feeling. It feels like my head is gonna explode. It feels like my heart is beating. 4,000 beats per minute. So now that that's done, we're gonna transfer my nicotine addiction to caffeine. Two to four coffees a day makes you technically caffeine dependent, caffeine addicted. I've had maybe three Two full cups of coffee in my entire life. Day? It's disgusting. It's, it's bean water. But to kick this off, I will try one. I'll I drink one coffee, coffee a day. Shop in my area called Duncan and ordered uh, one medium black coffee, please. This is hot. I drink. Well. I drink one coffee a day. And that's just a, a caramel frappe from, say, McDonald's or it could be Starbucks or even Dunkin'. I never even tried their coffee, but anything caramel frappe, I'm, I'm, I'm good off that. You feel me? But I'm only drinking one, though. If this is bad, count your fucking days, Charlie D'Amelio. So I birthed the fuck out of my nipple. <laughs> so on that note, I picked up what God intended for us caffeine-wise. Red Bull. Red Bull, Celsius, bro. And cold, cold brew. That, that's so coffee. And overall, I'm not going to lie. Drinking, like, two Celsius a day, bro. It's got to be the worst day. I've done it before. It felt like my head is just going to explode. I'm telling you. don't. I don't recommend drinking more than one Celsius a day a week i would just have four caffeinated things a day like this energy waffle that tasted like a roof shingle or this five hour energy that made me bike 30 miles per hour or the many many energy drinks i drank it was all too much because the ekg on my apple watch said that my heart rate was like heart attack territory which is not a fun territory to be in so i thought hey let's cool it on the uppers try out some downers alcohol oh lord help this kid five drinks a night or 15 drinks a week is technically alcoholism i thankfully despise the taste of alcohol and it makes week. me gag but this will be a little bit of a challenge to fit in 15 a week i took a shot at a party here a can of wine on the plane watching the garfield movie there which is even worse while you're drunk a vodka crayon at a ken carson concert and then three more and then somehow i convinced security that i was the press and got backstage and started filming the concert with a random camera someone gave to me and then i went into the mosh pit and nearly fucking died but i I realize I need to get into the binge mode. And thankfully, there's one place that screams addiction of many kinds. That is Las Vegas. Of course. I went to Las Vegas, my least favorite place in the world for this video. I had the window seat and I made this old lady get up uh, when she had just taken like 40 minutes to sit down because she was old. And at one point during the play, I thought she died. She just like slumped down and I was like, <gasps> a stroke, Bro. a stroke, a stroke. Uh, but then she rebooted and she was you fine. said rebooted. I'm dead. Plane. Welcome to Las Vegas, the purest form of capitalism, the capitalism we will ever experience. We can see a giant glowing emoji orb or have a drink made by a robot bartender that replaced a single mom with three kids working a minimum wage. It also tasted like shit. Anyways, my second stop was Taco Bell Cantina, where you can get foot long tequila Baja Blast freezes and get married. What's that? Aquí te voy a dejar. Un poquito antes. Uh, let's see. Porque... Acá una curva y no puedo pararme, no puedo estacionarme. 
Let's see. <laughs> My man did not speak a lick of English, but nor did I speak a lick of Spanish. So I find myself not at Taco Bell, but we're gonna find it. Anywho, I found the Taco Bell location and I've been doing this fun thing uh, after a few drinks where I like to run and like lap people, especially old people. So I was doing that. <laughs> And there was a beautiful ambiance in the air uh, outside the Taco Bell. There was a man getting arrested for God knows what. But I got myself a $20 foot long Baja Blast and I added three tequila shots to that mother. Like, holy God, I love America. This is what I moved to this country for. Thank you. Do you guys actually do weddings here? Dang. How much is like the wedding package? Getting wedding, getting married at a Taco Bell is crazy. The Taco Bell wedding package is 700 Damn. Oh my God. So, call me crazy, but I would argue that to go alcohol is the greatest American invention ever. Also, what did that man do? Nothing, in my opinion. Free him. He's a murderer. Free him. This would literally wow. send a European into hemorrhagic shock, but not me. I was walking around like three drinks down at this point. I passed the restaurant chain that I used to work at that is fucking evil and contemplated getting a tattoo. This is so fucking ominous because who's who's coming soon who are you there's no details it just says she's coming soon fucking okay <laughs> i wonder if they've explored each other's bodies <laughs> oh, i forgot that there was three drinks i forgot that there's three drinks in this one drink i got three total shots in it how many drinks oh <laughs> So the cup fully shattered. <laughs> Is that a sign from God to stop drinking? Yeah. No. Okay. I also found one of those like tourist trap 360 rotation things, and I made the awful decision to do it because it was ten dollars. At first, before I got on there, I didn't realize you were like supposed to do something and like move with it. So I I stood still. But the second time, I locked the fuck in. That was not the best idea, cause I'm prone to motion sickness. So not have been spinning, should not have been spinning. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> fucking hate this place. <laughs> God, man, made me spin four fucking times. I didn't even want to do it once. Don't throw up, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ew. <laughs> Could I be an alcoholic? No. I'm very grateful that, uh, to me, alcohol tastes like poison, and my body agrees. 15 drinks later, I think the odds of me getting addicted are very slim. But what legal addiction are we missing? Gambling. Cocaine. Gambling. I also had this addiction when I was younger in the form of CSGO skins. Oh, now in Las okay. Vegas, the literal second I got off the plane, there was slot machines just there. And as a kid, when I would go to Las Vegas on trips with my mom, these machines like cocoa melt me. I was so jealous. I wanted to do them so bad. So my mom just let me loose in Las Vegas. So while recovering from my alcoholism, I took $200 out from the ATM. And I think it's so beautiful that the ATM is kind of to say, hey buddy, do you have a gambling addiction? You want to call this hotline? As if that's stopping anyone with their uh, debit card already in the fucking machine. <laughs> what should have stopped me though is the $10 ATM fee that I have $10 to pay. ATM awesome. fee is now, crazy. In Las Vegas, what the freak? Basically do the same thing. You line up five of whatever symbol and then you win the jackpot or like three and you win like a mini. And they have themes like Wonka, Crazy Rich Asians, the 2018 romantic comedy movie, the, a Big Flaming Pots, Whitney Houston. Because nothing says RIP Whitney Houston like a. Uh, like ruining people's lives a gambling addiction. So I sat down and I kissed my twenty dollar bill. Goodbye. I don't know if he actually I don't know won what the something. Fuck any of this means. The first spin, I won a whole five dollars. Mamas, that's how they get you. No chemical like caffeine or nicotine. They lock your ass in with neurochemicals. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna lie. I'm most likely to get addicted to gambling. It's this got to be actually the most addicting thing in the world, to be honest, because. I don't know. I, I like to win, and if I lose, I'm gonna try it again. Wait a minute. And then before I knew it, a few spins later, I was down to five cents. 
These motherfuckers. These little fucking oompa But it's such what a scam, though. I mean, you know, the same. Maybe Mr. Big Cheese over here will show me some luck and some grace. But I quickly clued into a certain technique that they use on you, where you gamble a certain amount, say $5, and then you win $3, and it feels like you won. But you still lost $2 in the grand scheme of things. But it feels like a fucking win. And it just it keeps does. you going. It, it does. And I kept going. Is it always just a losing game? I will go from $20 all the way up to $60, but not cash out. I keep spinning, and then boom, we're back down to $0. <laughs> Faster than you can say, Super Sally Shrimp Mania 4 Link. Oh boy, Super Sally Shrimp Mania 4. Which I also lost $20 to. That was $20, gone in the blink of an eye. This is like the most bored I've felt in so long there's absolutely nothing exciting about like going the whoa pulling the little fucking lever and then you you just watch your money burn i sorry if this is insensitive how the fuck do you get a gambling addiction casinos are maybe the most depressing environment i've ever been in and i've been to the fucking north korea border so <laughs> overall there are so many factors that can make you more or less ad addicted to things more prone to addiction i am thankfully probably never gonna get addicted to alcohol but i know that nicotine can very quickly as it kind of did in this video, even after I quit the nicotine, take over your life. I've been around people that are it's nightmares right to be around when they can't find their vape. Like, genuinely, please don't, don't, don't even try them. PSA, you look stupid as fuck if you are addicted to something called a geek bar. Put fucking Spotify <laughs> on it. Anyways, I'm going to go do some real shit like cocaine. In Catholic school. Yo, that's going to be the end of the video. A few watch to the end, appreciate you. Comment down below how you feel about the vid, how you feel me, what you what you think of you can get addicted to any of these things. Me personally, the most the most out of all of these is definitely gambling. Cause I don't I don't see myself smoking vapes. I don't see myself drinking, getting addicted to alcohol. Especially don't see myself getting addicted to caffeine. So it's gotta be gambling. I love doing that. I'll be betting on all the basketball games, all the football games, you feel me? Sports betting. But yeah, man, it's gonna be the end of the video. Like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Corn. I'm out. Peace. Have a good day.